People say sometimes that vegans are extreme. But is it truly extreme to don't want to cause a massive amount of suffering to innocent living beings, specific if it is not necessary? Is it not extreme to behead innocent living beheading? What they do in slaughterhouses, the cut his throat, like they do with the victims of ISIS. Is it not ironic that people become outrageous on the violence of ISIS, but when they themselves support beheading by other living beings? The only reason you are don't see the comparison between the two is because you are programmed to not see this in a clear way. You are brainwashed to see a difference between pigs, chickens, turkeys and members of your species, how I call the hominids, because to be called human by my standards, you have to be humane. And that means with mercy, that means with kindness, that means that you are vegan. And if that statement is harsh and controversial, it's the point as I've said before, so it is maybe because you are not in worst situations from the victim point of view when it is not your victim or your species. In other words, if you ask me there is no difference between a slaughterhouse and ISIS, there is no difference between people how active supporting the slaughterhouses and buy animal, animal body parts and secretions how you call so you can miss the animal products so you don't have to think about the suffering and the pain you are inflicting on innocent living beings i see no difference between isis what isis do with the beheading and people how pay for that to happen to pigs chickens and turkeys or in China, dogs. There's no difference between the two. Cruelty is cruelty. Murder is murder. Rape is rape. Systematic oppression and torture and holocausts is systematic oppression, torture and holocaust. It does not change when the victims are changed. If you go back to, um, to 1945 and replace the Jews with turkeys, chickens, cows, or pigs, you have still Bergenhaus and Auschwitz. And if you go back to this time and then go to the nearest slaughterhouse and replace the victims with Jews and gypsies, you have now recreated Bergenhaus in Auschwitz. You have a place built to torture, kill and mutilate living beings. Why do those places even exist? Specific, when there are uh, dozens of replacements for these carcasses. Specific, when it is totally unnecessarily violent with this hellhole disgust. Are waken. How can you ask for something you are not willing to give? Animals are the most biggest group of oppressed victims on the planet. Any year, 70 billion land animals and 2.8 trillion marine animals are executed for a taste spot. Not because we need it. That's the most biggest, saddest reality. It's only because people are brainwashed to want to eat animal body parts. I think uh, Chauvinau was right when he said, there is no opinion so palpable that it cannot be um, inculcated in man's head when you inculcate it uh, before the age of five. With a link of great servility. In other words, P 
people are easy to corrupt and brainwash. At least the majority. Think, people. Think about the victims. The animals are not willing participants. They are only want to be free. They are want that you give a fuck. That you give a little bit about those innocent little leaves. Please, be humane. Be with mercy. And not homo megalomania extrema superbia. Which means narcissistic, extremely proud 